Well, this is uh, all that we have for a solar panel. Uh, as you can see, it's about 10 by 12 or maybe 10 by 14. And that's all we need for our lights. Uh, all our lights are LED. And uh, of course, we live uh, not in a regular house. We live in a space uh, that is 14 by 17. Also, for eight feet high, not, not lower than that. And um, yeah, so what it takes, uh, the, the, the panel was about, I think, $80. We bought it in the state. How long uh, ago? Huh? How long ago? Uh, we bought it, I don't know, how many years ago? About five. About five years ago? Maybe okay, seven. It's $100 now. Um, you, we have to have a voltage regulator, which is a little box of $20 at the time, and a solar type battery, which is look exactly like a car battery, but it's a deep cycle, so I won't get into the detail about that, but you need a, a deep cycle battery for a solar panel. And what, so what kind of stand is that on there? Oh, this is uh, this is come has been designed by the NASA, but they threw it out, so we pick it up behind. No, that's not true. Uh, it's a tripod, so uh, it's been um, out here in all kind of wind and uh, rain and never. Well, we put a block to make sure that it wouldn't, because we've had a really strong wind lately. Uh, but um, it's not. Uh, wind so and how do you keep the snow off of it oh that is very important you got to put a little something here we put the uh, kind of made a gap here and put a little piece of plywood fine plywood <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know. uh, in a day like today and there's a little bit of a flurry today uh, the solar panels sometimes get covered with snow, so it's a uh, good idea to make a little, uh, you know, shield. Depending where the the snow come from, we can move it. Uh, that's included in the concept. And then, um, yeah, I mean, otherwise you you don't get as much power during the day, and uh, your battery get low. So it's, it's good to put this on and take it off whenever it's sunny. So that's the panel and we have the wire from the panel running up into the barn into an old hayloft vent and we'll go up there and see the setup for the battery. All right so here is outside that's the wire that come from the solar panel it's wired to these these wire here and it goes to the charge controller, that's that little box here. This one says charge and this one says charging. So it blink when it charges. So the battery is fully charged now. So that's the battery. Uh, that's a deep cycle battery. It's made by Optima. Um, and that's the kind of battery you need to um, to so it can be charged and discharged without being damaged. Uh, a car battery doesn't, cannot uh, handle that kind of stuff. So the casing is not necessary in this case, but we put it anyway because we add it. And uh, that's it. That's our system. Okay, this is our fuse box. Um, that's a man-made, homemade uh, fuse box. We use uh, car fuses. Uh, of course, it's not approved by the department of uh, the building building inspector, uh, but it worked. The idea is to make sure that everything uh, has a fuse between the power source and the unit that, you know, light or whatever. Mostly light we have with that. All LED to, um, for lights because they use so much less current than um, incandescent bulb. And uh, so this is um, a light that we order on, to, on the internet 
and I believe there's how many there is? 36 LED in there and uh, I recommend the Baba Ganoush container to put around and uh, it's a pretty sharp uh, light that's another uh, fixture that we use and this one we use it mostly for reading um, they're available on the internet mostly can't find them in the store um, and uh, we put the whole thing together with uh, fine 2x4 and uh, switch that I don't know probably come from a lamp that we found on the side of the road and uh, yeah so they it's perfect for reading it's adjustable okay with this fancy device here and um, yeah it takes very little energy